Number 10. Goosebumps Ancient Code You've probably had it sitting in a chilly theater, or hearing that one song that gives you the chills, and suddenly your skin sprouts tiny bumps like a field of minuscule mountains. Goosebumps seem so ordinary that we forget how bizarre they are. Why would skin react this way? The answer is hidden in a language far older than civilization itself. Back when humans were still coated in a heavier layer of body hair, goosebumps were a survival mechanism. The muscles around each follicle would contract, causing the hair to stand upright. The result? A puffed-up version of yourself, designed to look bigger and scarier to predators. Picture a cat hissing fur standing on end. That's your body's original intention, intimidation through fluff. Today, though, most of us can't scare a housefly with a few stray hairs on our arms. So, why does the reaction linger? Scientists suggest it's a leftover evolutionary ghost signal, a message from the past etched into our biology. But here's the stranger part. Goosebumps don't just appear from cold or fear. They also show up when you hear a song that emotionally wrecks you, or during moments of awe like staring at the northern lights. Neuroscientists think this is the body's cryptic way of tying physical survival instincts to emotional experiences. In other words, your skin is whispering that awe and terror are cousins that beauty and fear share the same wiring. What looks like nothing more than skin texture is actually an encrypted reminder of our animal roots. Next time goosebumps strike, think of it as your body's primitive language, trying to tell you that what you're experiencing is both dangerous and divine. Number 9. The Eye Twitch Morse Code You're sipping coffee scrolling your phone when suddenly twitch. Your eyelid jerks like it's sending a coded message to the universe. Most people laugh it off, blaming stress or too much caffeine. But what if that tiny spasm is part of your body's hidden communication system? Eye twitching, or myokymia, is surprisingly universal. Ancient cultures had entire belief systems tied to it. In some parts of India, a left eye twitch was considered bad luck if you were a man, but good luck if you were a woman. In China, twitches at different times of day supposedly predicted future events. Science, of course, offers more grounded explanations, fatigue, mineral imbalance, or overstimulation. But here's where it gets eerie twitches often arrive exactly when you're under emotional or psychological pressure. Think of it as your nervous system firing off warning flares. Neurologists believe the twitch is a micro-signal, your body's way of saying, hey, you're burning out. Slow down. Yet, because it feels so random and out of control, humans turned it into superstition. After all, what's more unsettling than your own eye rebelling against you? And here's the twist. Some researchers believe that eye twitches might be linked to the same circuitry that controls our fight-or-flight responses. In other words, your twitchy eyelid could be the residue of an ancient alert system, your body's attempt to prep you for a threat you can't quite name. Whether it's science or superstition, one thing is certain when your eye twitches your body is speaking. The question is, do you know how to listen? Number 8. Yawning Secret Alarm We all yawn, on the subway in the middle of a boring meeting, even while watching a thrilling movie. And the strangest part, yawns are contagious. Just hearing about yawning may have triggered one in you right now, but behind this ordinary act hides a mysterious language, one that scientists still argue about. The mainstream explanation is oxygen. You're tired, your brain slows down, oxygen levels drop, and your body takes in a giant gulp of air. But that's only half the story. Studies show that yawning doesn't significantly increase oxygen intake. So, what's it really saying? One theory points to thermoregulation. Yawning may act like your brain's cooling fan, helping keep neural circuits from overheating. But the more fascinating angle is social. In groups of primates, yawns often spread like wildfire. One monkey yawns, others follow. This mirroring is thought to strengthen social bonds, showing empathy and shared awareness. In humans, contagious yawning has been linked to empathy levels. Psychopaths, for instance, tend not to catch yawns as easily. Which means, if you want to creep yourself out, sit in a room yawn and see who doesn't respond. So, when you yawn, your body isn't just bored. It might be broadcasting a subtle message, I'm tired, I'm stressed, or I'm sinking with you. In a strange way, yawning is like an ancient group chat, wired into our biology long before smartphones existed. Your open mouth is more than a reflex. It's a coded signal telling others around you how your body and brain are holding up. Number 7. Sneezing's Explosive Morse You're in a quiet library, nose tingling, eyes watering, and then, boom! A sneeze so violent it feels like your brain just tried to escape through your skull. Sneezing is universal, powerful, and oddly uncontrollable. But why does your body do it, and what secret is it hiding? On the surface, sneezing is just your nose's housekeeping service. Dust pollen or microbes irritate the lining, and your body decides to launch them into orbit at over 100 miles per hour. But here's the weird twist. Sneezes aren't just mechanical. They're emotional, too. Bright light sneeze. Sudden exposure to cold sneeze. Even feelings of excitement can set some people off. That's because the sneeze reflex isn't only about the nose. It's tied into the nervous systems connecting to emotions and sensory overload. In ancient cultures, sneezing was loaded with meaning. The Greeks believed sneezes could predict the future. Some societies thought sneezing expelled evil spirits, while others considered it dangerous to hold one in because it trapped negative energy inside the body. 
Today we laugh at those superstitions, but think about it, why else would we instinctively bless someone after a sneeze? The ritual is centuries old, a response to an act that feels otherworldly. So sneezes are more than nasal fireworks. They're your body's secret messaging system, clearing danger, signaling emotional overload, and reminding you that some instincts are just too explosive to suppress. And perhaps, in a way, every sneeze is your body's loudest way of saying, something doesn't belong here. Number six, the phantom phone buzz. You're sitting at work when suddenly your thigh buzzes. You grab your pocket, no notification, no call, nothing. Congratulations, you've just experienced a modern mystery scientist call phantom vibration syndrome. And it's a perfect example of how our nervous system sends hidden messages we often misinterpret. This phenomenon has exploded in the smartphone era. Studies suggest up to 90% of people report feeling these fake buzzes. But here's the catch. It's not your phone. It's your brain misfiring signals between sensory nerves and perception. The tingling might come from tiny muscle spasms or nerve signals that your brain interprets as a phone vibration because, well, it's primed to expect it. Psychologists argue that phantom vibrations reveal how deeply technology rewires human behavior. Your body has essentially learned a new language, one that didn't exist 30 years ago. Some researchers even compare it to a hallucination. Except instead of seeing ghosts, you're feeling phones that aren't there. Creepy, right? And maybe there's a darker undertone. The fact that we anticipate messages so much that our body fakes them says something about modern anxiety. It's as if your nervous system has turned into an overeager dog barking at shadows. The real hidden language here? Your body is telling you how addicted you've become to constant digital connection. Number 5. Stomach Butterflies Secret Message Think about the last time you had to speak in front of a crowd, go on a first date, or ride a roller coaster. That swirling, fluttering sensation in your stomach is so common, we barely question it. But butterflies in the stomach aren't just poetic, they're your body's nervous system, broadcasting a very real warning. The feeling comes from the gut-brain connection, specifically the vagus nerve, which links your digestive system directly to your emotional brain. When you're anxious or excited, your body diverts blood away from your stomach to your muscles, because survival comes first. That sudden shift triggers the fluttering, as if your insides are flapping their own tiny wings. Here's where it gets stranger. The gut contains over 500 million neurons, so many that some scientists call it the second brain. Those butterflies might not just be nerves reacting, but your gut, literally thinking in its own language, sending coded messages back to your brain. Cultures have always recognized this gut language. Phrases like gut instinct or feeling it in your stomach reflect an ancient truth the body knows danger, excitement, or love before your conscious mind catches up. When your stomach dances, it's not just being dramatic. It's telling you that your whole being is bracing for something big, whether that's heartbreak opportunity or survival. So the next time butterflies strike, don't just brush them off. They're your body's encrypted warning system, fluttering to remind you that emotion and biology are inseparable. Number four, sleep paralysis, whispers. Imagine waking up in the middle of the night. You can see the room, hear the creaks in the floor, even sense a presence in the corner. But when you try to move, you can't. Your chest feels heavy, your body frozen, and something in the shadows seems to be watching. That terrifying moment is called sleep paralysis, and it may be one of the most chilling languages your body speaks. Sleep paralysis happens when the brain wakes up before the body does. During REM sleep, your muscles are temporarily paralyzed to stop you from acting out your dreams. But if you regain awareness before your muscles unlock, you end up trapped in your own body. And here's the eerie twist. Many people report seeing figures, shadowy shapes, demons, or even alien-like beings lurking nearby. Scientists chalk this up to hallucinations caused by the brain being stuck between dream and wakefulness. But across cultures, the experience is woven with myth. In Japan, it's called kanashibari, a ghost pinning you down. In Newfoundland, people describe the old hag sitting on their chest. In West Africa, it's spirits pressing the life out of you. Different names, same paralyzing terror. So, what's the hidden message? Sleep paralysis reveals. The fragile border between body and mind, reminding us that we're not fully in control. When it happens, your body is shouting a cryptic warning. You're awake, but not free. It's a language of fear carved deep into human history, a reminder that even rest can hold horrors. Number three, the shiver that isn't cold. You're standing in line at the grocery store when out of nowhere a shiver runs down your spine. No cold breeze, no temperature change, just that eerie ripple like invisible fingers brushing your back. Creepy, right? But what does it mean? This phenomenon is often called a frisson, a French word for shiver. Unlike goosebumps from cold, this shiver is tied to intense emotional or psychological experiences. A powerful piece of music, a moving speech, or even an eerie silence can trigger it. It's like your nervous system has a secret soundtrack, and sometimes it plays without warning. Neuroscientists suggest that these shivers are connected to dopamine release and the brain's reward pathways. In other words, your body is rewarding you with a thrill for experiencing something emotionally powerful. But not all frissons are beautiful. 
Some come from uncanny moments, walking alone at night, sensing you're being watched, or recalling a traumatic memory. Cultures once believed these shivers meant someone was walking over your future grave, or that a spirit had brushed against you. Today, science reframes it as a nervous system glitch, but maybe both explanations capture something true. The shiver without cold is your body's way of whispering that you've touched something primal, whether awe, terror, or fate itself. Number two, hiccups primitive signal. Picture this. You're enjoying a quiet dinner, then suddenly hiss. Your diaphragm decides to launch into spasms. Harmless. Usually, annoying absolutely, but hiccups are more than just dinner table comedy. They may be a primitive message echoing from our evolutionary past. A hiccup occurs when the diaphragm contracts involuntarily forcing a sudden intake of air, followed by the vocal cords snapping shut, hence the distinctive hick. But here's where it gets bizarre. Scientists can't agree on why we hiccup at all. They serve no obvious survival purpose. Instead, one leading theory suggests hiccups are a leftover reflex from amphibian ancestors. Tadpoles use a similar motion to control breathing while living partly underwater. That means every hiccup you've ever had. Maybe your body accidentally activating an ancient respiratory switch it no longer needs. But hiccups also appear during emotional stress nervousness or even after laughter fits. Some researchers think this connects them to the vagus nerve, which links your gut brain and breathing. In other words, hiccups might be your body's crude signal. Flare an ancient way of saying something inside isn't balanced. Cultures have long attached meanings too. In parts of Russia, a hiccup was thought to mean someone was talking about you. In Japan, three hiccups in a row were a sign of bad luck. Whether superstition or science, the hiccup is more than a sound. It's a cryptic tap from the body's oldest language still echoing millions of years later. Number one, the itch that talks. We've all had it the sudden irresistible urge to scratch. Sometimes it's from a mosquito bite, but other times there's no visible cause. That mysterious itch may be one of the strangest body quirks of all, and it speaks louder than most people realize. On the surface, itching is your body's defense system. Specialized nerve fibers detect irritants like insect saliva, dust, or allergens, and trigger the scratching reflex to protect the skin. But the deeper story is psychological. People can develop psychogenic itches sensations caused not by irritants, but by stress, anxiety, or even suggestion. In experiments, just talking about itching can make participants scratch themselves, maybe even you right now. The most unsettling part Itching spreads socially. Seeing someone scratch can trigger your own itch. Scientists call this contagious itch a cousin of contagious yawning, showing how deeply wired our brains are for mimicry. In darker contexts, soldiers in wartime have reported phantom itches and crawling sensations on their skin when under extreme stress, as if their bodies were screaming danger through tactile hallucinations. Throughout history, itching has carried symbolic weight. In the Middle Ages, unexplained rashes were seen as marks of witchcraft. Even today, phrases like an itch you can't scratch reveal its psychological punch. So what, what's the hidden message of the itch? That your body is constantly on guard, blurring the line between the physical and the mental. Each scratch may be your nervous system's cryptic reminder that the mind and skin are more connected than we want to admit. That's it for today. I'll be doing similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.